Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm gonna explain you styles in Affinity Photo, which are a huge mystery for most users. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer, and I wanna thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thank you for that, let's get started. So you can see here, I have the word style multiple times. I have applied different styles to the text and this is just Arial regular, nothing special about that font. So how did I do that? Well, when you look on the right lower side, you have here a tab that says styles. It's next to transform history channels and navigator. In case you are not seeing that tab, go to view and then to studio and then to styles and make sure there's a check mark next to that. After you have done that and you see the styles, select your text or shape, by the way, you can also apply these two shapes. So let's delete the group real quick. I will create a shape here. Let's make a cute little heart shape like that and click on a style and boom, you can see I have a lot of different designs for my heart any way I want with these styles and they are following the shape of the style. That's also a cool thing to have with these styles. So what is the magic behind that? How does this actually work? Well, it's kind of easy to explain. It's kind of hard to master. And the easy trick behind this is that a style is simply a combination between a gradient, so you can see with the shape, I have a fill color, for example. So here, in this case, it's just a color. It can be either color or gradient. Let's switch over to this here. In this case, you can see it is a gradient that is used as the fill color for our text. Good. So a gradient or a color. And in addition to that, what really creates the magic of the style are the layer effects. Nothing else to it, just layer effects. Again, if you wonder where are the layer effects and what are they, you can see here we have the layer tab and this shows us individual layers. If I select one of the layers and click on the effects tab, I see a list of effects and these are specific to the layer I just selected before. Again, if you don't see the layer tab, uh, the effects tab, go to view and then studio and then effects and make sure there's a check mark next to that. Always the same story. If you don't see something, look in view and studio. Good. So you can see here some of them, they have a little check mark here. So these are effects that are activated and these are saved inside of the style. Uh, with some of them, you have a little bit of choices here of the settings, but you get a lot more settings in some cases when you click on that little cogwheel here. You can see, so now suddenly instead of three different settings, we have a ton more settings. So this is very useful for us. And also we get a better overview of what is used with this style. So you can see in this style, it is using the inner shadow, the outline, the 3D effect, beveled emboss effect, color overlay and gradient overlay. A lot of stuff going in uh, this kind of style. And the cool thing is, and this is what I really would suggest to you is click through the different styles and look at what the creators of these styles have done some use them really creatively do some amazing things that you can learn a lot of so for example here we have an outline as you can see let's turn off everything else so we just have the outline like that we still of course have the gradient overlay from the color but with the outline you can see here that the outline is actually using a gradient itself this is why it's brighter on the down part of the heart and it's darker on the upper part of the heart and this already gives kind of a light effect like the light would come from the lower part of the heart so it adds to the illusion of this being kind of a 3d or light effect a shimmering light let's restore the effect that we had here so these kind of effects that are applied let's click on this one which also uses a very interesting effect here and by the way I can't explain all of these settings. You have to look through them on your own, but they are pretty intuitive from the words that are used. And when you play around with them, you will see what they actually do. So it's not that hard. 
just to find out an interesting combination is a little bit harder, but it's also your artistic journey. So this is really a good idea to do that. So in this case, this is using a 3D effect here. Let's turn off everything else. And you can see here, usually this is flat, but with the 3D effect, it becomes soft and round from the shape and we can do some cool things here so if we click at the 3d settings you can see here for example we have the radius setting and that tells us how thick and also how round the hard shape is you know so that is very nice and the cool thing is when you look here at profile there's a little hint i'm giving you because this is one of my favorite tools to play around with that profile when you click on that this is basically defining what kind of surface shape should be simulated so look right now you can see everything is soft round and nice but when i click click at this you can see that the surface is changing so suddenly here we have a very harsh edge that is falling off outwards like that so that's very interesting and of course you can adjust these on your own you don't have to use these presets and you can do some pretty drastic shapes in here um let's put another point here can see like that for example you can do some really crazy things in here you can also say linear so these are straight lines and let's make some more here you can see suddenly we have these kind of indents here so we can do some really really interesting things just with the profile of the shape you can see this completely transforms the look of the heart of course in this case it's a little bit hard i don't know if you want it uh, to be a heart that's kind of with these sharp edges but you can see that you can do that so that alone is a pretty impressive effect so look through the different settings and like i said a style is nothing else than just the layer effects applied in a very creative way and a fill gradient or fill color for your shape so if you have created your favorite design let's say this is it how do you save that well first of all if you see here on styles here it says default so you can create your own style categories the way you do that is click on these three lines here and say add style category it's called unnamed two, not very creative so you can click again on these three lines and say rename category and let's say ollie style here so we have that boom i have my own category and now to get this over here i right click on my shape or font and say create style and boom i have it down here it gives me a little preview so that's very nice and now if i click over here on my text and click on the style that i just created boom it's applied to the text looks actually a lot better on the text than it does on the heart so you can see matter of seconds we have created our own style and it looks kind of nice kind of funky i like it good so here's another advice that i want to give you whoa my cat is coming in sorry Ugh. All right, here's another advice I want to give you. You can abuse this style effect. Let me show you how. I will um, download an image of a dog. First of all, I'm going to rasterize this and trim it so it has the exact same shape and size as my canvas, like that. And now I'm creating my own style, for example, like before, going to effects and then going to 3D. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up a profile here again, like this, for example, and adjust the radius. And you can see, for example, this doing it like that will give me kind of a picture frame. So you can use it like this. You can also adjust the color here. So you can make an overlay, maybe make it more pink, stuff like that. So you can do some interesting things here. So if you play around with that a little bit more, you will see that you can do some really interesting things by abusing that to create effects for your photos, for your pictures. And you can also save them as a style. I want to warn you that if you save them as a file, you have to apply this effect first to a font and the way you do that is a bit complicated because if you save it right now this is probably invisible 
you can see here this is empty you don't see anything so that's no good so what you're going to do is you're creating let's create a shape for example and then you go to your layer that you have created the like the picture layer you have created the effect for right click and copy and then go to your heart shape and then go up to the menu edit past effects like that you can see so now it's applied to the heart you right click on the shape and then create style and you can see now you can see it so this is the way you do that if you abuse the style using it on an image layer you want to save the style this is the way you can save it and still get a preview i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching see you in the next video bye